So today I'm going to teach you around different menus in PowerPoint and uh, what all things uh, we get in those menus so that you can make use of them while you're working. So we start with file menu, file menu comes with the different options of uh, uh, creating a new uh, PowerPoint. Uh, once you open up the PowerPoint uh, software and also you can use the open button to open up and then you have a couple of uh, things down below with options and account settings which you can do you press escape you come back and then uh, in the home menu so we have home insert design transitions and other menus which you can make use while you're working so for example if you have the home menu uh, we have uh, uh, paste option so you can copy a few things. So let's say if I copy this image over here and if I go to paste, you have paste special options also, which allows you to paste into different formats. I'll, I'll be telling you about these uh, specific image formats uh, in my subsequent sessions, but uh, just explaining you the menu right now. And then you have format printer, for example, if you have something uh, which is, uh, let's say if I uh, insert a shape uh, over here and uh, I want the shape to have the format of this gray box over here. So I'm going to copy and then apply over here. So let's say, yeah. So I just ungrouped it. Yeah, so there you see, you can use that format painter to format uh, from one object to another. This is also applicable for text boxes. Uh, so if you want to just select and uh, color it up, you can use that as, a, okay. Then next on you have new slide. You can use new slide to insert any default uh, design which you already have. And I'll explain these uh, as we go ahead. You also have layout menu wherein you can see, you can change the layout of the current slide. For example, if you click over here, you can uh, go back. So I'll just go back to the previous. Uh, layout yeah and then you have different settings for the font you have uh, the font settings for uh, your uh, text boxes you have uh, size font size which you can also increase or decrease from here and then uh, you have uh, if you want to clear all the formatting you can use that from here and also if you want to change the font color so you can use this to change the font color for example i just select over here and i click so it will change the font color over here and uh, then you have uh, yeah so then you have uh, change case if you want to change the case to uppercase lowercase and uh, strike out uh, bold italic and underline options so these are pretty much standard uh, font uh, options which are there you also have a dialog over here if you click over here you will have additional uh, settings and you can also use these settings to do the font changes then you have in the paragraph section you can align left align center align right align justified and also if you want to split your text uh, into multiple columns uh, so this is useful when you have a lot of text, but in PowerPoints, we don't usually put a lot of text. So that is something which is for another day, uh, a topic which I'll explain another day. You have bulletings, you can use bulletings to bullet your uh, text and also number them. And then you have uh, indentation, you can increase the indentation level for example if i click over here it goes inside if i click back it comes out and then also you can increase the line spacing 
and you have text direction so you can change the direction of the text uh, based on the layout that you want to have uh, yeah so i'll explain that uh, once we you know go ahead and then you also have align text top middle and bottom okay so for example if you have uh, a box like this which has a, a text like this so you can align it on the top or you can go to the bottom uh, of the uh, of, of the box which you have and also you have uh, different shortcuts for quickly drawing uh, the objects over here and then you have an arrange uh, menu which allows you to arrange things in order so these things we i'll teach you separately uh, in a video how to quickly uh, align your objects um, without having to go you know one level two level or rather three level down and then you have shape fill which you can use to fill color to that particular object and you can choose that and then you have shape outline if you want to change the outline of a particular uh, you know uh, object you can do that and uh, then you have different effects you can uh, give a glow around it or you can you know do a reflection so these are the very basic uh, commands which you have over here you have the insert menu which you can use for creating a table and then inserting pictures so if you click over here you can go to the menu for example i just pick up any stock image and uh, okay there it comes yeah so you can use uh, the insert menu to insert pictures you can also take a screenshot of uh, whatever you're working if you want to use it and, uh, and then also create a photo album so this feature also i'll explain you in uh, in an upcoming video you can insert different shapes so you have a text box you have lines uh, you have a rectangle then you also have a, a oval which is actually can you can create uh, circles also using that and then you have smart art which are basically uh, predefined uh, templates which you can use to create your presentation and then uh, yeah so a lot of other uh, stuff which is over here you can uh, modify the slide number insert a slide number and uh, uh, insert again a text box you can also insert a video and audio uh, and then you have design menu which with which you can change the design uh, of a presentation there are few designs which are already prefed and then you have uh, slide size so in the slide size you can change the orientation uh, and also the aspect ratio which is uh, 4 is to 3 and 16 is to 9 so uh, yeah you can do that and then also you can change the from background formatting also if you click over here you can change the color of your slide also over there yeah okay that looks nasty yeah okay then we have transitions so transitions are basically uh, effects which uh, are fed between two slides so that uh, you can uh you know give a very smooth effect so example i just selected these two slides over here and then i clicked on fade so when i do a powerpoint uh, slideshow and i go on to the next slide then it simply fades into the next slide yeah okay and then we have animations we have a separate uh, chapter where i'll be talking in depth about animations we have slideshow which you can prepare uh, from where you can actually run a, a customized slideshow all these slides will automatically run in an order you can also repeat it and then you have a review section if you are 
wanting to give some feedback uh, to your somebody who, who has worked on your slides you can create those and you can place those comments over here you have view menu which has your normal outline view so this is how uh, you can so outline view you have different whatever you have uh, uh, written also coming up over here then you have slide sorter which is very useful for sorting if you have multiple slides and then uh, every slide there are uh, sections where you can write your notes so if you go down you can add some notes over here and uh, so notes view allows you to see those notes as well then you have slide master uh, which is a little bit advanced uh, as of now uh, however in my subsequent videos you will see those uh, uh, something on slide master also and then we have ruler and uh, let me come back here yeah. so this is the ruler which you see on the top using this you can align different uh, objects yeah and also uh, you can use it for sizing then you have grid lines if you click on the grid lines there are small dots which come which help you align and you know visually space your objects and you have guides so with guides also you can use uh, for aligning your objects and then there are certain advanced menus which allows you to do a lot of uh, coding and customization so and then in the end every uh, every object that you see over here whether it's an image or a a uh, text box or a normal box will have a customized uh, format menu so each format menu will allow you to do uh, more i would say uh, effects to it if you want to for example there's a text box you can do the coloring over there if you have an image then you have a different set of uh, format menu which allows you to do multiple things so uh, I think that's it for now. These are the few menus, and as you go through my other videos, you will be able to use these menus and uh, see how it really impacts your presentation. So that's it for now. Thank you.